boy King. And it's your girl Nick. And, and today, today we're back with another video. video. Okay, as you guys read that title today, we're gonna be doing a reaction video to Domo and Chrissy. We broke up video. Yeah. Um, we decided to do this video just because it's like it's like a wild type of thing. Like it's like a somebody that somewhat well I know that before I started YouTube I was watching Domo and Chrissy and I knew about Domo and Chrissy and I was watching the videos where Domo asked Chrissy to be your girlfriend and all this type of stuff. So now to say that they're hopefully hopefully they work it out. Yeah. But now to say that they have a video to say we broke up, we got we just want to do our reaction to it and like you know guys tell us. Tell y'all how we feel about it, which is probably not our place to talk about it, but it's just like a, yeah. you know. It just, it's just the fact that, you know what I'm saying, watching people like that, like to say that you're with this person, and then at the end of the day, like, y'all just separate or, you know what I'm saying, grow apart or something mm -hmm. like that. Like, that is something, like, that you could just be like, wow. Like, I don't even know how to explain that, because I couldn't see myself, you know what I'm saying, just doing that with me, like, breaking up right now. I can't do that. So you got to speak up, babe. I can't do that. I'm speaking up. Uh, you seem like you're speaking low. Sorry. I'm talking really loud. Whatever. Anyways. I talk right now. You know what I'm saying? I talk like this one for real. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so yeah, you know, we just wanted to show our reaction on the video. We haven't watched the video yet, but we're going to watch it on here. And let's hope. No tears to shed because it looks like they're crying, like it's just a sad video. So, mm -hmm. all right, let's watch it. And as you can see, we're already a little emotional. Chris looked like my mama when she cried, like, but just yeah, oh, you come closer so I can sit this for a long time. So, as you can see from the title of the video, we're both I'm crying. crying. Yes. Sorry. We both were crying. You off. <laughs> it's just a sad situation. We very much love each other. We very much are still best friends. Like, this is very hard. Okay. And I want y'all to know that we didn't just give up. We tried. You know what I'm saying? We don't hate each other. She's still a wonderful human being. She's still, I still love her. And none of us did anything wrong for us to break up. I feel like Damo. I can't see them without each other. I can't see them without each other. Um, Damo is. Me too. Since I'm gonna talk about this moment. No. Oh. 
Okay. This girl is my best friend, for real. Like, I don't have to talk high about me. No, I, I don't. Have I don't have to talk high about you. We tried to do this video so many times, and we can never get it right because it's so emotional. It's a very difficult subject to talk about. I just want to let you guys know that, like she said, nobody did anything wrong. We just grew apart over time, and it sucks. This breakup was literally mutual. She didn't break up with me, I didn't break up with her. We literally sat down. It was strange how it happened. We just bounced off each other. When we sat down, we literally just started talking about it. It was like it was meant to happen. And no matter what, we're always gonna be tight. And I wanna put that in you guys' head right now. You could never create any beef between me and Chris. Ever. 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 I don't care if she write a song. Yes, it's not don't. about me. Thank you for saying that. If I make a song about, me, about my I emotions, <laughs> If, if I make a song and it's like, fuck you, stupid ass duck cut, cut, bitch. It's not about Chrissy. Chrissy's amazing. I must be talking about somebody else. But, or if I tweet something. Cause like, I bitches ain't shit. shit. I hate bitches no. with red dreads. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do be tweeting some stuff, but it's never subliminal towards anybody. I just be speaking in general. And I don't want y'all to, like, think, like, oh, it's Chrissy talking about Dumbo or Dumbo talking about Chrissy. Because I'm, I'm, me and Dumbo are so open to each other. Very. You will, I, I've, I've said this plenty of times on social media, especially Twitter, you will never see me disrespect Damo on social media, period. For the fact that I respect her as a person, and I would just never do that, and I respect her as Dominic's mother, and I would never want Dominic to grow up and see, like, us bashing each other on social media, because once you put stuff on social media, no matter if we delete it, it's always going to be there. So I would never, ever, ever disrespect you on social media. Will you disrespect me on social media? Like, don't, if you see something? I don't do that now. I know, I'm just, I gotta take the information I'm gonna send my report in the We're so, like, if we have a problem, we'll just come to each other. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And all I want, time. And I want y'all to know, like, everything that you said, seen on videos, everything, all that, it was real. Nothing was fake, okay? I don't want y'all to be like, oh, whatever, I don't know. You know genuine you friendship, very genuine relationship, like, genuine everything. Like, we never sat down and was like, oh, well, we don't love each other, but we're still gonna do this. We're thing. never ever gonna stay together for a check. We see too many YouTube couples that we know. Our happiness is so much worth than more, way more. I, I fought all the way just to have a good relationship. With her. We're risking so much right now. We have sponsorships, we're sponsorships, a uh, 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 million dollar YouTube channel, like all that. We're giving it all up. We're literally not posting on this channel anymore. Just like, just for, yes, because we just know that we don't need to be together right now, or in general. Um, and <coughs> I don't want y'all to think this was something overnight, you know what I'm saying? We've, we've literally tried. I don't want y'all to think we did not try. For those of you guys who are like, try again, do this, do that. Like, we really tried. You know, we're just better off as best friends, you know? <laughs> I always say, she's like a sister to me. <laughs> it's weird. No incest. <laughs> But, um, uh, yeah, so don't bully her new girl whenever it comes. Can you stop with the jokes? No, it's not a joke. I'm dead don't serious. Her, don't bully her new man. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm being dead serious. What? I want to no. this video and watch this. Don't bully me. Yeah, don't bully her. Don't, don't bully her either. I'm going to let y'all know right now, I have zero friends. I'm going to just be blunt. Like, I'm going to need y'all to be here for me. Like, I'm bad. Me specifically. Her too, obviously. But, okay. I have the main focus. Only because I have a friend. Yeah. Two, I feel like I can hold my emotions. Like, I, I yeah. know how to like, yeah. handle my emotions better. I don't feel like, like, don't have sympathy. It might not look like it right now, but trust me, when this camera go off, I'm going to be depressed, sad, crying. But not depressed as in, like, I mean, I said that wrong. Just sad. I'm going to be sad. You know what I'm saying? Like, we've been sad. Well, no, we cry every single day. We, we wake up one day like, oh, I'm just so sad today. Like, it's just one of those days. We cry every day, but we just know that it's <laughs> sad. And it's, it's just sad to think about. Um, I just know that it's very official. Mom. She already signed mm -hmm. her lease for her new place. We're moving That's out cool. of this place. Uh, our lease is up in a couple months, so we're still going to live here together for a couple months until the lease is up. I just know that, like, sometimes you don't like to, like, talk to your family about stuff, and I don't want you to be sad over there and trying to, like, hide your emotions and stuff because Mom. you don't want to be at my house and you don't want to intrude on what the fuck I'm trying to do. Like, I really don't care. Like, I care about you so much that I don't want you to be sad or think that you can't come to me about anything i've never had somebody care about me so much so i really don't like usually people just don't care about me like i'm dead serious i'm not <laughs> a church bag a lot you're not a church bag to me i always 
tried to tell you how much I appreciate you and love you. That was the sweetest thing I've ever heard. You're so genuine. Your love is so real. My eyes switch. I'm getting nervous. <laughs> I hate that. You're so genuine. And like, you love me how I deserve to be loved. And I prayed for Chrissy. I'm not being dramatic. I prayed for somebody just like Chrissy after all the stuff I went through. Send me somebody loyal, nice, cares about me, look, gonna love my kid, Watch all that. Watch her clothes. Yeah. Do her dishes. Clean <laughs> her side of the I asked for another mom. No, and it's crazy because we didn't work out. You just had to say that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you just had to say that. You're the perfect person for me, but we did not work out. And yeah, like you I told you, you just had to say that. Understand that. This. But it's just because I can't, unless you're like an adult, relationship-wise, we're just like, just been there, yeah, very. Best friends, like, and we can ask you, like, like, that, like, we're best friends. We've had conversations about this, because we're, we've always been close, like, we've always been, like, best friends, we've always been cool, we've always had that great friendship, but, like, we both, like, would always notice that, like, the relationship wasn't there. Mm -hmm. And I feel like at this point, like when we just broke up, it was like, okay, we keep saying the same mm -hmm. stuff, but no one's doing anything. Mm -hmm. When we told each other that, you know, it was mutual, when we started talking, we both started bawling. Remember we were in the car and you was like, I love you so much. And I was like, I love you too. And then and we, we were just bawling. Freaking song. Just had to play it. Most emotional song ever. If you. Oh, the song's not gonna be out by the time this video's Well, this, I wrote a song. She made this song about me. She made this song about me, like literally the day before we broke up. Well, she like recorded it the day before. It's been ready for a minute, the video shoot and all that, so. <sighs> yeah, we recorded yeah. the video for it and it's emotional. It'll be out probably tomorrow after this video comes out. Oh, mommy, so go watch it because it's really good. It's crazy. We cried. We cried. I just, we, we just reacted to it. It's I so was... sad. But yeah. It's like, it's like one of us passed. I don't even want to think about that shit. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, it's just real sad. Like, I don't, I just, I love you so much. I, I just, just feel. Thank you for loving me unconditionally. Thank you for loving me unconditionally, too. You're a good one. Usually it's me that's like, keep it together. Yeah. But she's been watching me cry. And I know you feel bad. I can tell when she watches me cry, she's just like, be like, damn. But yeah, I'm proud of myself. Pat me on my back. I just want y'all to please try to understand and please just respect us. Please don't hit us in our DMs like, please just get back together. You guys need to do da da da. You guys just need to try because we've tried. We've done everything behind the scenes. Everything Very behind the scenes. Like, yeah. We don't we don't try. Well, actually, we don't broadcast our relationship like that at all. Like it's very private. So that's why we haven't been posting as much too. Yeah, it's, you know, it just, it's a disconnect there, you know what I'm saying? And we went to therapy, like we tried, and we just figured out that we are just the best of freaking friends. Like, yeah. I feel like we're going to get on that level one day where I'm never, Mark, watch this video, unless I'm just like that type of girl like that, just like be lying. But I don't feel like I'm ever going to move on. Like, after Chrissy, she's such a good person, I don't see my, she's looking like, bullsh. No, no, no. I don't believe in it no more. I'm gonna just be blunt, like, you're the last love of my life. I don't say that. You are. You shouldn't be like that. I don't want, I don't want to do this. If again. you don't, that's cool. But I don't think you should, like, I'm not doing this again. It's too hard on the heart. This is a very long video, guys. <sighs> what you gotta say? We gonna speak on it right now. Because this is a very, very, very long video. We didn't want y'all to just be drawn out, watching us watch the video. So, from what you've watched, I think it's very, 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 very mature of them to, like, handle it the way they are handling it. Because, like, you never... I love a relationship who... I hate the type of relationships that show all their personal issues on social media. Like, everything is not meant to be put on social media. Like, you don't have to put... It's like a relationship is between you and your partner. Whether y'all are a public figure or not. Like, whether y'all... Um, you know, are known and stuff like that. I don't feel like everybody don't need to know y'all business, which they probably did work it out. They probably had arguments. They probably did this. They probably did that. And it probably just wasn't working for them. And I just, I just love how they're just so mature about it. And they just still, you know, don't, they don't 
they don't try to shit on each other and be like, oh, well, she ain't do this right, she ain't do this right, or she ain't do this right. They always continue to say, oh, I still love you, I'm never going to get over you. But it's just like, we grown women, and we just grew apart. It just, it's just, I love the relationships that can end on a good note. Because you never know what the future might hold. Like, you, you like, it, like, to me, it feel like you never know what you have until it's, it's gone. gone. So I feel like it maybe if they have of a break, maybe they really just need. Well, I don't know if they took a break or what. Hopefully, you know, maybe even if it's ten years from now and they come back to each other and they just be like, "Wow, I really missed you. Like, I never met anybody just like you. Like, I'm ready to try this again." I think they'll still be able to do that because they didn't end on no no bad note, like no. And I feel like if it was to get out on social media, if they would have expressed themselves earlier before they really they was done, then it probably would have been a bad breakup. Because, you know, when having other people in your relationship, it's just the worst. Like, my advice to anybody out there, don't be having nobody in your relationship. Like, work on stuff with y'all selves and then talk about it and then have an understanding with each other. So that way, when y'all be able to announce it, y'all be like... I know this is, we both talked about this. Like, we know we want each other to be happy. We love each other to death, but it's just something about it. We can't do it right now. So, what you feel like, babe? Back to what she was saying. Honestly, I feel like it was the maturest thing that you can ever do as in being together and coming to agreement as one and say that, like, you know what I'm saying, this is what y'all really want to do. Like, deep down inside, me looking at it, you know what I'm saying, how they saying it, 9 out of 10, I don't know. I don't want to promise anything, but me looking at how they how their relationship seem to be, I feel like they're going to get back together later on in life. That's just my opinion. And it don't have to be no... It don't have to be, it tomorrow, don't have to be no tomorrow, to, next you know week, next month, maybe 10 years from now. I can't... I, you know what I'm saying? I, I can't see them without each other, you know what I'm saying? And... It's, it's just like it, it just wouldn't be the same and at the end of the day but that, if they that, don't get back together, they, they if they don't get back together it's still that's still fine and dandy you know what i'm saying at least they did a mature way you know what i'm saying nobody knew anything of what was going on and that's you what i never I, guessed it from them i salute that to them because most people you know what i'm saying who have relationships you know what i'm saying they let the internet know and stuff like that which i understand why some people do it because Sometimes it's like you vent, you know what I'm saying? It's somebody to talk to. Yeah, you need somebody to talk to. And nine out of ten, like when you're in a public relationship and you know what I'm saying, you're doing stuff, you know what I'm saying, you feel like... You're so used to putting stuff out there. Yeah, you're so used to putting stuff out there that you just want to let the people that, you know, look up to you or, you know what I'm saying, watch you or you call your family or you say that's your family, you want them to know what's going on, you know what I'm saying? But some people are different. But at the end of the day, man, it's just like... I don't know, they just, they probably is just one of those couples that just, you know, best friends. They, I don't know. They make each and other. And if they was them. best friends, it's, that's amazing. I mean, like, I salute to them. Um, I pray for their happiness, and um, I hope that everything goes well with them in the future, which I know it will. Yeah. Both of them on the road to Better, many, good, great yeah, things. great things. Better things, so. great things, you know what I'm saying? We just wanted to tell you guys our opinion on this, but we definitely salute uh, Domo and Chrissy. Like, shout out to them because they, like, open. I don't know. It's like, to me, it's like they open, like, they Doors just. Yeah, for, like. like, couples that's, like, just say, for instance, like, they made, they made, they made a thing. Basically, they made a situation to say, for instance, like, anybody out there that's a couple. I mm -hmm. mean, as in girl on girl or boy on boy, you know what I'm saying, couples. To really come out and do it, you know what I'm saying? Live a big dream, live a big life, you know what I'm saying? Really don't care what nobody else says. It's either, it's either you're going to love them or you're going to hate them. And then at the end of the day, they made so many people that probably did hate them start loving them because they was like, they was just probably, honest and was, genuine yes, about everything. That's a, that's a good thing. But so. I think it's just like a, y'all, they opened a new way to handle things. Like, yes. I hope this, that she, they both tell, I mean, you know, both of them. I hope that if y'all watch that video, it helped y'all realize that y'all can handle stuff in a different way. Y'all don't always have to go to social media. So with that being said, um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. We hope that you guys loved it. Make sure you guys go send Domo and Chrissy much, 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 much support. Because they definitely have ours. We really, yeah. truly, they're, they're like, they're great. Like they're we, great. I used to look up to them when they was like, when we used to, I was like, wow, they're like so cute. It's like they just... Everything's oh my god, baby. Oh my god, baby. And then just oh my god, baby. Oh my god, baby. And y'all know what I'm talking about, but anyways, we out. Yeah, I know what's going on. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, and press the notification bell. Man, we love every single one of y'all, man. On a big thing, you do, you know what I'm saying? Nothing else, something else. <laughs>